Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematics Pasala. Today I will discuss about a problem which came in CHR net June 2023 part C. Let's see the problem. Consider the following two sequences A N and B N given by these two equations. Which of the following statements are true? Okay. So for this statement, we have to find first the limit, whether limit the converges and if converges find the rate of convergence ok so the given sequence a n can be written as summation over r equal to 1 to n 1 by n plus r so now we have to find the limit of the sequence a n so it can be written as limit n tends to infinity summation over r equal to 1 to n 1 by if I take common n then n into 1 plus r by n ok so it can be written as limit n tends to infinity 1 by n summation over r equal to 1 to n 1 by 1 plus r by n ok so from the definition of definite integral in the form of summation what we get that is becomes integration over 0 to 1 dx by dx by 1 plus x that is becomes log of 1 plus x okay integration to 0 to uh, limit to 0 to 1 okay so that is what we get log 2 minus log 1 that is becomes log 2 so the sequence n is converging to log 2 so the sequence n converges in the fourth option what is said n does not converge so option 4 is false in the option 3 what is said n converges to log 2 so we get this one n converges to log 2 but does not have the same convergence rate as the sequence bn so we have to find rate of convergence then we can conclude option 3 is right or false okay in the option 3 what is said an is an converges to log 4 but what we find we find n converges to log 2 so option 2 is false in the option 1 what is said an converges to log 2 and has the same convergence rate as the sequence bn so we have to find the rate of convergence of the sequence an and bn now we check the limit of the sequence bn okay limit of the sequence bn so limit n tends to infinity 1 by n so it becomes 0 so the so the sequence a n converges to log 2 and the sequence b n converges to 0 so what we get the sequence a n converges to log 2 and the sequence b n converges to 0 now we recall the definition of the rate of convergence given a sequence x n converges to x then limit n tends to infinity x n plus 1 minus x by by mod x n minus x to the power q equal to lambda ok lambda is real constant greater than equal to 0 lambda is real constant greater than equal to 0 then lambda is called rate of convergence of the sequence what is called rate of convergence of the sequence ok and q is called order of the convergence order of the convergence ok so order of the convergence q always greater than equal to 1 ok so if q equal to 1 and lambda lambda should be belongs to 0 to 1 if if lambda belongs to open interval 0 to 1 then the sequence is linearly converges the sequence is linearly converges ok that is the rate of convergence is linearly converges ok if lambda equal to 0 then the sequence rate of convergence of the sequence is superlinearly convergence superlinearly convergence ok if lambda equal to 1 then the sequence is rate of convergence is sublinearly convergence ok if q greater than 1 if q greater than 1 then 
the sequence then the see then the rate of convergence lambda can be any number to 0 to infinity okay when q equal to 1 lambda should be the closest interval 0 to 1 now there are three cases we discuss now we have to find the rate of convergence of the given sequence an and bn so an given that an equal to 1 by n plus 1 plus 1 by n plus 2 plus dot 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 plus 1 by 2n okay so n plus 1 should be 1 by n plus 2 plus 1 by n plus 3 plus dot 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 1 by 2n plus 1 by 2n plus 1 plus 1 by 2n plus 2 if i subtract this two term what we get if i subtract two term what we get an plus 1 minus a n should we get 1 by 2n plus 1 plus 1 by 2n plus 2 minus 1 by n plus 1 okay so what we get a n plus 1 a n plus 1 equal to 1 by sorry a n plus 1 equal to a n plus 1 equal to a n plus 1 by 2 n plus 1 plus 1 by 2 n plus 2 minus n plus 1 okay so the iteration formula of the sequence we get this one okay mm, okay now from the definition of rate of convergence what we get uh, limit n tends to infinity a n plus 1 minus a n sorry n plus 1 minus log 2 because the sequence converges to log 2 okay by a n minus log 2 to the power q equal to what limit n tends to infinity a n plus 1 means a n plus 1 by 2 n plus 1 plus 1 by 2 n plus 2 minus 1 by n plus 1 minus log 2 and by a n minus log 2 to the power q so we can see as n tends to infinity if this term becomes 0 this term becomes 0 this term becomes 0 so what we get denominator a n minus log 2 as n tends to infinity and in the denominator in the denominator we get a n minus log 2 to the power q if q equal to 1 then the limit becomes 1 if q equal to 1 so when order of convergence of the sequence is 1 then we get rate of convergence is 1 ok therefore the rate of convergence of sequence is sublinearly convergence ok now we have to check the limit check the rate of convergence for the sequence b n ok rate of convergence for the sequence b n so limit n tends to infinity b n plus 1 minus 0 because the sequence convergence to 0 b n minus 0 to the power q what we get limit n tends to infinity 1 by n plus 1 by 1 by n to the power q so what basically we get limit n tends to infinity n to the power q by n plus 1 so basically what we get limit n tends to infinity if i divide numerator by numerator denominator by n so what we get n to the power q minus 1 plus 1 by 1 by n now if q equal to 1 the limit will what to limit who should limit what if q equal to 1 limit become 1 if q equal to 1 okay otherwise when q greater than 1 the limit becomes when q greater than 1 the limit becomes infinity so so when q equal to 1 the limit 1 so the sequence is sublinearly convergence and the order of convergence is 1 okay order of convergence is 1 and the rate of convergence also 1 order of convergence 1 means the sequence the the sequence is sublinearly convergence sublinearly convergence 
because we get lambda equal to 1 here okay and the order of the order of the convergence is what order of the convergence is also 1 so we get same as the before before what we get in an so the rate of convergence is in the bn is also 1 the rate of convergence an is also 1 so in the option 1 what is said that in the option 1 said that an convergence to 2 and they has the same convergence rate as the consequence bn so option 1 is true so option 3 should be false because they say it does not have the same rate of convergence okay thank you for the watching